plates. Okay, I had to make my own box. So don't laugh at me, okay? Um, Oplex, we're probably gonna need like some type of packaging that says Oplex on it. If you could just send me like an empty box that says Oplex, that would be per. Silent app, okay? What's up, y'all? It's Lee Natural here, and I'm back with another Oplex video, okay? This is how we had to do it. So I got some Oplex goodies in here. It's been a while since I played with my old flex, so today I'm really excited because I'm trying something different. I'm doing an experiment on my year old wig. This wig is a year and like two months old, and I have never washed it yet. I haven't done anything to it since the first time I got it. And I wanna bring it back to life with my old flex products. So this is how the wig looks. You can see it's very tangled. The curls are like really limp not defined at all see i mean it's still pretty curly but we need more we need more curls we need more curls for the girls we need more curls we need more curls for the girls Ooh. okay let's not go in labor okay even though it's way too early for that but let's not i'm sure i'm a very careful girl Anyways, the first step I'm going to be doing is the Oplex Zero. So the Oplex Zero is supposed to go on your hair and just, you know, I, I guess just go on top. And it's like a little pre-treatment for shampooing or, you know, starting the whole Oplex test run. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna call it. So I'm gonna use this first on it. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is Oplex number three. So I leave the Oplex number three on for I think about 10 minutes, but since I want an extra little deep condition, I'm gonna leave it on for about 15 minutes. I'm not gonna leave it on for like 30 minutes or nothing like that, because I actually don't got all night. I got stuff to do, so I don't wanna be doing this all night. And this is a lot of hair, so about 15 minutes, that's gonna do me good. All right, so after the Oplex number three, I'm gonna go in with my Oplex number four and five. That really exciting okay the shampoo is really really juicy that's why i really really like it i remember the feeling it used to get my curls and the way it made my hair feel so bouncy so i really can't wait to see what this does to these curls because as you can see the girls are limp they're gone we need them back so oplex number four and five the conditioner is really nourishing it's a really moisturizing thick conditioner y'all <sighs> smells real heavenly and I love that so I'm really excited it's actually moving closer to me I'm getting really scared that's how I know she's really thick so yeah this stuff is the bomb okay conditioner and then last one I'll be doing is the bond smoother so the bond smoother is just to put in all that moisture I'm thinking that's kind of what it was giving me when I was done using my whole Olaplex kit, what I did was put the bond smoother on last, and then I felt like a it's like this this curlerific finish that it was giving my hair, and my hair's natural, so the curls were just very together, very popped, very defined very voluminous they looked really thick and full so that's the look i'm going for for my wig to bring it back to life so this is really exciting you know what i'm saying so the bond smoother does not get rinsed out at all this is a leave-in so it's kind of like a moisturizer so that's what this is and i really really like it you don't need too much of it a little bit goes a long way because she thick too this is thick this stuff is amazing and <sighs> smells good too. I love the Oplex scent. It has this really light but not too heavy scent that I really really like because I don't want too much smell but I do want a smell so that when I walk by my man and he's like mm, and I smell so good because you know you wash your hair your hair smells good and you know it's just really light and just there. It's just just giving just enough. So I really really like that. That's all the Oplex products. Um, I was gonna do the Oplex number eight, but I don't need to do it since everything that I'm gonna be using is very moisturizing. I would really like to just do that and give my curls like kind of like a wake up. 
that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. So I don't really need to do the Olaplex number eight, but I do like the Olaplex number eight. I have actually tried it on my own hair and these were the results. It made my hair really, really pretty and curly and it made my hair color just look barely really really vibrant and my hair felt so soft so shout out to old place number eight also we just not using it today girl we just gonna go with the regular regular stuff today and yeah i'll be giving y'all a little tiny little demo on how i'm gonna be doing everything and i'm gonna do it in my little sink right here i don't feel like going downstairs and toting all these lights and cameras and action and stuff so we're gonna stay upstairs and i'm really excited about that because i love being upstairs in my room just let my ADHD get the best of me. Um, I actually have some more. Let's fix her while we're talking. Not too crazy. I do have some more Olaplex goodies in here. So if anybody needs Olaplex or is interested, I'll probably do a giveaway, y'all. Let me know down in the comments if y'all would want to do an Olaplex giveaway. So, cause I got a whole lot to give away to girls who need it. Just let me know. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take her off. Don't get scared when I take her off, okay? I mean, we all have our days. We all have our days, don't we, sis? Yes, we do. Mm, there she is. Ooh, looking all sanctified. That's okay, you know? So this is how a girl looks right now. Um got a little lint in there gotta excuse her okay let's get a good look at her all of this we're gonna get rid of all these knots all this good stuff is going to be gone okay so this will be my first time using Olaplex um the regular Olaplex I have actually tried the Olaplex blonder on wigs and I liked it but I have never tried the Olaplex the original on a wig so let's get right to it first thing I'm gonna do is put it on my wig stand okay so now that she's my height I'll put her on here and get her set up for the salon oh my gosh she's at the Olaplex the natural salon okay we're gonna get the girl ready okay I'm gonna pin her down. I do have T-pins in here on my wig canvas. So I'll put her in place with T-pins. You wanna do that so you're not snagging, the, so it's not falling when you're trying to style it or put your products on there. You want her to stay in place. So T-pin sits down, okay? Okay, I do have a brush that I'm gonna use to do untangling but most likely I'll be doing a lot of finger detangling first so I'm gonna just don't text me right now okay I'm gonna do a little bit of this first not too much this stuff is it's just like water it doesn't really have a scent either so yeah I'm gonna just pour it on there like this and drench it not really drench it, just make sure it gets on there. Oh, it has my blonde curly hairs in there. I remember those days. They were fun. Everybody wants me to go back to the blonde, but I gotta grow my hair out first. Hey, just get her all up in there. You see? Just do it. Oh, yes, we are seasoning that hot dog. It's like when you put the ketchup and the mustard on it, and you like, you see? It just does it like that. That's how it squirts out. Okay. I think we have enough. I feel it all around. Just want to make sure I got it right here. So I'm going to work this through her hair. Okay, now we're going to get to the fun stuff. Okay, so what's important to do is separate your hair in sections. That's the best way to get the hair untangled and evenly distribute all the products. So I put my wig in four uh, buns, four uh, bantu knots. I put it in four bantu knots. And now 
um, I still have the Olaplex zero on there. Now you go ahead and put the number three on top of zero. So once I go in with the number three on each section, as I go in, I'm going to untangle. I'm only going to use a handful, about this much. I know y'all probably like, girl, that is too much. I'm going to try my best to only use that amount to untangle this section. I don't know if that's going to work. Maybe if I spritz a little bit of water with it, that could help me loosen it up a little bit. But it's already actually helping with that little bit right there. Let me know if I was a little too handy-handy with that. Okay, so I'm going to do this to each section, and I do have a denim brush that I'm going to use and untangle each one, and then we're going to get to the other fun stuff. So stay tuned, and don't forget to like this video. Olaplex. No, Olaplex. So I'll put some water and the Olaplex on there just so y'all can see without me untangling it too, how it looks um, different between the two. So this is when I just put the Olaplex on there and I didn't untangle it yet. So you can see the difference. Olaplex not untangled and then the old plaques completely untangled very defined too okay so let's do this to this entire wig The Bantu knots in the So now I'll be letting the Olaplex number three sit for about 15 minutes. I did add a little bit of water to help loosen it up and it did help a lot. So really excited to see the results. Don't fall. Wig always trying to fall. Okay, this is the wig completely untangled. You see the difference in the buns. Now they are more uh, untangled and just smooth, unlike how it was before. Much smoother and appealing. So the next thing I'm going to do is let this sit and then I'll come back and let y'all see me um, after I apply the shampoo, I'm gonna apply the shampoo and I'll be rinsing it over here. Probably not gonna show all of that, but we're getting somewhere. Okay, so really quick, I had to go for a little dinner date. I had to get me something to eat. I was really, really hungry, okay? It has been sitting for about, honestly, 30 minutes. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and start shampooing. I'm gonna go in with the Olaplex number four, and I'm actually going to shampoo in each section. I'm not gonna wash the entire wig completely. I wanna make sure that I just get the hair completely saturated with the shampoo. So I wanna go ahead and just do by sections. So I'll probably show y'all me doing one section, but I'm gonna drench the hair, rinse off all the product, and then I will, <laughs> then I'll be doing each section washing so let's get started okay so first off y'all i just want to let y'all know i treat my wigs like i would treat my real hair especially wigs that i really really care for i treat it how i treat my hair so i was thinking about what happened with my real hair and the reason why i had to big chop and everything when it came to using the olaplex the correct way and I found that when you use it, you got to go in certain steps or you will mess up your hair using Olaplex. And I'm not saying that just to say it. I just I'm saying it from experience. You can go check my Olaplex videos. So I wash off first the zero and the number three. And then I highly recommend going in sections. And that was my mistake. I didn't wash my hair in sections when I use the Olaplex. I just put it all over and completely mad at my hair so um you gotta also put this shampoo on i feel like in a very neat fashion if you do not your hair will completely mat i don't know why but the product needs to be distributed neatly i'm so serious it's like you will mess up your hair so one of the sections i actually did um you know, throw it on there and be a little, you know, rough because I was ready to hurry up. And the Olaplex started to mat that part, that section. It was really, really bad. I got really, really scared. You're going to actually see which section I started to kind of move a little bit roughly with. So you'll be able to tell where it happened at. But um, I just want to say, if you do use Olaplex on your wigs, you have to be very neat and you have to be very careful especially if it's on an expensive wig like this one so i highly recommend to just follow the steps that i'm using if you're going to use your olaplex on a nice expensive wig because i wouldn't want you to mess it up or mat it up and then you don't know how to untangle it i pretty much i know how to untangle wigs it's not really a big deal but you don't want to deal with that because it's a real headache if you don't have the patience for hair. So if I'm not mistaken, this is the section right here. So um, look, I kind of, you know, I was like, oh, this last one. I was ready to be done. And then I put a little more. Also, I think um, using too much of the shampoo also affects the way it will treat your hair. I don't think you need too much of the product. I think overdoing it will matte your hair also i don't really know i don't know if that causes dryness or what it does but yeah that one section got completely um messed up and i was scared but i'm gonna fix it and you're gonna see me fix it so just stay tuned for all of that the way you see me washing it now is perfectly fine you want to make sure you're cleaning the cap so you get the smell out you get a good refreshing feel to the lace that's why i'm doing the squeezing method because if you don't do that you'll still you know have stuff on the wig on the lace and you won't really get that smell through the cap so that's why i do that So basically the best way to do it is from ends to root and that's what I did to untangle it but you want to go slowly you see this corner that I was talking about is where I threw the shampoo on that section and just was a little sloppy also added I think too much shampoo 
and that's what caused the matting so just from into root i'm just doing that and making sure i untangle it and it untangled pretty easily i didn't really have any problems but i just want to tell you guys to be careful when it comes to that and always untangle from into root washing the wig about five minutes ago i let it sit in the sink just so the water could like you know drip down a little bit off of the wig into the sink now i'm gonna let it sit here for another five minutes before i add the oplex six so it's not as wet like dripping right now so i'm gonna let it do a little bit more dripping here put her on the canvas don't fall. Not to fall. I think we're 
here for about five ten minutes then we'll be going in with o plex number six so she's all untangled here scalp all right so let's let her do her thing and then we are almost done <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm on <laughs> I want my last part and this is the Oplex number six and I'm just gonna put this on here. We just came from downstairs. So now by the breath. <laughs> I'm really tired. I'm gonna use I'm putting about this much for the whole wig. Cause I know a lot of y'all say I'm too heavy handed. And so it's almost gonna be like a, a setting lotion, moisturizer lotion for the wig. Let me actually secure her. Cause I didn't. Gotta put the tea pins in place. So she's not flying everywhere. Okay. So exciting. You're gonna be so beautiful. this outfit right back on because I literally just took a bath and this outfit is so clean so I didn't go anywhere I basically wasted it so I think I'm gonna put it on again see you in the morning <laughs> <laughs>